Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith and I'm on a quest to make a video about every property that I've got on the website. I'm going to try to present them all. I'm going to try to answer questions and uh, try to get these properties into the right hands. We want people to buy them, that can use them, that can have fun with them, that can cut their bills, that can walk away from paying rent or mortgage, go start their own place. YouTube's got all the answers. You can YouTube how to build and create all kinds of things these days. And so we just got to get off the couch and go make it happen. And so here is another property that might entice you to do it. This one is, uh, here, let me pull it up on the website. I'll just show you. This is, uh, here we go. Here's here's my website, ruralvacantland.com. This one's $25 a month for 96 months, but $25 a month. There's no down payment. I mean, the, the first payment's $25, no credit check, no questions asked. You can just sign out online, click the buy it now and go for it. Um, please don't do it if you've been drinking a bunch and it's the middle of night and stuff wait till the morning and then go do it so you remember what you're doing and uh, run with it because I want you to go use the property you know go build something and send me a picture better yet make a YouTube video about building what you're building I might even sponsor it if you put together a good sales pitch like this is it's just the kind of person I am right so this one is 0.31 acres it's almost a third of an acre a third of an acre it's in the woods look there's a Walmart on the sign too so let's uh let's find out where it is property tax nine dollars and 74 cents a year that's my kind of tax that's like skip going to McDonald's you know just uh ride your bike for a day instead of driving the car and buying gas and stuff like th that kind of tax you know that's a lot more reasonable a lot easier to wrap your head around elevation 600 something foot um, subdivision Ben's Creek subdivision so if you want to know about the actual regulations what you can and can't build here call the this is Horseshoe Bend um, lot 9 ask them about Ben's Creek subdivision see what kind of um, you know what's the minimum lot what do you what's the minimum you can build I think it's gonna be like 800 square foot might be 1100 square foot they might not have a minimum you gotta call them and ask each one of these subdivisions in the neighborhood has different regulations so don't just assume horseshoe bend has the same regulations this neighborhood runs across like three different counties and there's a whole bunch of additions they added on over time and they all seem to have different regulations so call about that specific lot there's APN number on the ad a listing and you can ask them about that one they'll tell you about it here's Memphis over here. here's uh, Little Rock Arkansas um, Tulsa Oklahoma is over here so if I was looking at this property the other place I would stop in is SV Seekers building a big big uh, sailboat in his front yard out of steel I love watching that YouTube channel if you've ever seen that one I'd definitely stop in there if I was driving over to this one from my house in this property be a long drive though I don't think I could get the kids to sit through that drive I'd have to break it up in a couple one couple different times 27 hours for me to there but for wherever you're at in the country you can go on the website and you can hit, click on the GPS coordinates it'll give you driving directions to the property you could be in New York Michigan Florida wherever it'll give you driving directions to the property and you can go and you can take a look at this thing there's roads there's gas stations there's food along the way there's no more excuses. You can just get up and go look at it, see if this is the right one for you. Down the street, there's a lake. This is Crown Lake and uh, Diamond Lake, I think this one's called. If we zoom in, I think it'll tell us. doesn't matter. This lake looks bigger and more fun. I'd go hang out in this lake. There's a marina down here. There's a boat launch. There's boat houses. You could store your boat in one of the boat houses if, you, if you're not living on the lake. Boxhound Marina Resort and RV. There you go. They put in a beach, too. Horseshoe lanes, you can go bowling over here. There's a Dollar General. Um, it's basic stuff in town. It's not fancy town. It's just basic stuff. If you go over here to Ash Flat, where's Ash Flat? Is it this one? I'm going to have to turn on the map. Where's Ash Flat? Oh, there's Ash Flat. Ash Flat's got a Home Depot. Maybe we can see how far away that is. Or it's got a Walmart. I don't know if it has a Home Depot. Um, Ash Flat, Arkansas. This is Arkansas. There's Walmarts all over the place. 9.9 .9 miles to the Walmart. I think there's a Home Depot over there. I bet you there's lumber. If there's no Home Depot, it's going to be Bubba's Lumber or something. 
Um, oh, I, that's not. I. Oh wow! Gotta go all the way over Mountain Home to get to Home Depot. Fifty-nine minutes, forty-seven miles. Hey, they deliver. You just order stuff and have them delivered. There's probably lumber. See, there's lumber and ash flat. There you go. 3G's specialty wood products. I don't know if that's like lumber for building a house or if that's lumber for building furniture or something. But uh, there's a lumber shop over there. It's a resort. If you want to go take a look at the property, you can stay in the resort. There's a creek. Well, look at that. There's a creek. Ben's Creek. Okay, let's look a little bit closer to the property. You'll see if this thing's in the creek or next to the creek or what. Um. Looks like the creek's at the back of the property. I'm turning my head looking at the map. <laughs> I should just turn the map. Um, oh, come on. It's flying away from me, guys. Ben's Creek. That's the name of the subdivision. The trees change. There's pine trees here, deciduous trees over here. Let's see. Let's see what we can see. Oh, I'm moving it around. Come on. Let's get rid of that thing. Get rid of the directions. So there's houses over here. I'm not sure if there's power lines. Do you see power lines? There might be a power line running along that road. There's power lines running to these houses. That might be a power line route right to there. So there might be a power line just down the street, maybe not right to the property. We'll try to figure it out. Oh, here's some 3D. Computer's starting to catch up. So the property's over here, the lake's over here. The stream's down there. I think you're in between the street and the stream. I don't think you're in the stream. Might want to go look in the back of the property and see. There's definitely a stream there. You can see water. It's like reflecting. Maybe we can get some street view right off of this thing. Maybe. Maybe I'm dreaming not giving me any street view guys maybe we can get street view from uh, Bing Maps bear with me a minute here let's go over to Bing I want to see the stream don't you guys want to see the stream think we can find any fish in the stream Ben's Creek what do you think grows in Ben's Creek it's probably frogs turtles I bet you can find snapping turtles every now and then street side nothing nobody's driving these street streets well I guess that's good for the dog you can let your dog run free without getting hit by the Bing car or the Google car because they don't drive over here um, not sure if that's a power line road or not I think this this is a power line along this road though I'm pretty sure of it because why else would they cut the bush back so far on one side not the other so that's probably where the power lines running so I think you got a power line down the street go down Ben's Creek doesn't look like anybody drives that one you get it all to yourself get your lot in the woods third of an acre let's pull up another map here this is the lot line on the property zoom in a little bit it's classic rectangle the creeks right there in the back of the property so you could Probably walk down to the creek, let the kids go catch crayfish. Probably come back nice and muddy. You're going to need a mud room on your house. So here's a different set of software. Here's the lake. Here's uh, the little streets. We'll zoom in. There's a lot lines. Oh, there's some clouds. Let's zoom back out. So there's the trees, pine trees going into deciduous trees. Seed Venture, that's one of my companies that owns it. We can see who the neighbors are. I don't think I own the ones next door. No, different people own the ones next door. But third of an acre with a whole bunch of room behind you. That looks like a good spot. So I pulled up the lake. I looked up Crown Lake on Instagram. Looks like some girls are having fun there. There's a, This is the wrong Crown Lake. But uh, I think this is the right Crown Lake. This looks like the local high school. This looks like a dock out over the lake. This looks like the uh, marina. So this is what I wanted to show you. So here's some pictures of the next to the boat launch. Um, Boxhound Marina and Resort. 
So this is a lake. You can keep your keep your boat in these boat houses. It looks like they're doing um, pontoon boats. Seems to be the popular boat here. My dad always made fun of pontoon boats. My dad's a ski boat guy. He likes to go fast. He gets really mad when people tell him no wake zones. <laughs> we used to do a lot of boating growing up. That was one thing that would bug him. Nothing would bug him except for people telling him no wake. <laughs> so I was like, this is a ski boat. It's made to throw a wake. There's no such thing as driving a ski boat without a wake. So here's the boat launch. You can tie your boat up here. Park your truck. This one has total, like, total drive-through spots. That might be more for camping, but I can just park in the parking lot. There's no one there. You don't even have to back it up. I mean, you got to back it down the ramp, but you know what I mean. It's a nice boat launch. You go drive around the lake, have fun. So if this is the right property for you, $25 a month, where else can you get land for $25 a month? Go down below, click the link, fill out your information, you don't need to call me. You don't need to set up a tour. You can click on the buttons and go there and look at it, have fun with it, run with it. I'll do all the paperwork, get it into your name after you pay it off, and uh, you can start using it from day one. Just go have fun with the property. Let me know if I can help. Um, probably the best way to ask for help is in the comments below. If you're living in the area, if you bought some other properties in the area like this from me or someone else, love to hear the experience and the story and love to get some pictures and video of what you're building too. Tell me, you know, some tips and clues of how else to do it in this area. So Luke Smith, realvacantland.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon, guys.